first, new recommendations on police reform nationwide as Mayor Lori Lightfoot leads a group of mayors and police chiefs to help departments across the country better serve and protect. Back in June, the group launched a new police reform initiative in the wake of George Floyd's death. This morning, we're learning about a new report explaining what those changes will look like. CBS 2's Mugu Adigwe is at Chicago Police Headquarters with some of the recommendations. Hey, Lori Lightfoot says there are systemic problems that need to be addressed, and that's what this report aims to do. The goal, to make it clear that reform works and makes communities safer. We acknowledge the failures in our current system and that the status quo has failed far too many, including dealing with head-on our country's history of racism. The Working Group on Police Reform and Racial Justice says there is a sense of urgency surrounding reform, especially in the wake of George Floyd's death. So the bipartisan group of mayors from Chicago to Tampa, as well as police chiefs of cities like Phoenix and Baltimore, worked together on the report. From the get-go, they made it clear. They oppose efforts to defund the police, saying money is needed to help fund services with police departments. For example, social services and mental health expertise. They argue officers are often called to deal with mental health-related issues. Their recommendation, have people who are trained on these issues to accompany officers on such calls. They also talked about the need for community trust. They want to build trust and repair trust where it was broken. One way of doing that through transparency and accountability. In other words, building a system where officers who engage in serious misconduct are not allowed to return to duty. Something Lightfoot says Chicago is already working on as we're in the midst of a consent decree. There's also the issue of force. The key among them are deadly first force is a last resort. And that includes any use of chokeholds or other neck restraints. If force is necessary, it must be the minimum force necessary. So what comes next? They say this is just the start and not the end. Three different panels to discuss this report are planned for later this afternoon. They'll also continue to meet to add more information to the report. At CPD headquarters, Mugo Digwe, CBS 2 News.